But first, we're hearing from 11-month-old Dior Harris's family as they try to navigate the tragic loss of their baby. News Channel 9's Adrian Smith joins us now with more. I know you've been talking with the family. They have just got to be dealing with a range of emotions right now. Christy, that's right. You know, heartbreaking, horrific, tragic. You know, those aren't even the words that can describe what the family of Baby Dior Harris is going through. Loved ones showed up at the Onondaga County Justice Center this morning wearing T-shirts with Baby Dior's face on them. It wasn't, it was an instant sigh of relief though when the judge said she wasn't setting bail for the suspect, Chavez Ocasio, but emotions were raw inside of that courtroom today as the family had to relive Sunday night's tragedy, listening to Ocasio's list of charges. Now yesterday I had the chance to speak with the mother of the other two children who were shot and sent to the hospital and she was the driver behind the wheel and like so many of us is hoping to get those answers soon. Even though I can't do anything to them, at least, you know, the law is going to do something to them. But I just want to know who did this to me and my kids and my family. That's all I want to know. I just want justice for my cousin, baby Dior. That's, that's all I want. I want justice for her, my cousin, me, my kids. I want justice. Desiree Seymour, the mother of baby Dior, has started a GoFundMe, and on the website she writes that she's a single mother raising two other children and is actually expecting another child on the way. Now, we have a link for you to the GoFundMe at localSYR.com.